Hello everyone, for those who don't know me, I'm Gabriel Manuel, a fourth year chemical engineering student from UP Visayas and currently a Rappler intern under the production team. So what I'll be talking about right now is about social media literacy and about fact checking and how important it is, especially in today's modern world, you know. This will be a very brief discussion lang, so sana makinig kayo sa akin. Right? Deal? Alright, let's begin. So, let's talk about social media literacy muna, no? Um, what is social media literacy nga ba? Well, I bet lahat naman sa atin ay dumaan na sa MIL na course nung junior high school tsaka senior high school tayo. MIL is like media and information literacy na subject. So, basically, refresher lang itong gagawin natin ngayon. So, social media literacy is having the proficiency, you know, to communicate properly and respectively online. Well, I can say na included na rin dito ang um, to converse critically and to evaluate the whatever information available sa internet. So, balit dito na pumapasok yung importansya ng fact-checking natin. Kasi if we don't do fact-checking, then probably we are sharing and spreading fake information in the first place. And in worst cases, napuput into danger ang buhay ng isang individual. Kasi let's say for instance, na red tag siya. Well, I don't know guys if meron bang specific na tao ang pumasok agad sa isip nyo when I say someone who shares fake news, fake information. <laughs> Kumusta na yung mga Marcos Apologies friends natin dyan? <laughs> anyway, okay. So the problem is, there is so much fake information spreading across different social media platforms right now. As of the very moment na nagtotok ako dito sa harap nyo ngayon. And the sad truth is that there's actually a lot of people who still don't know how to, to filter them. Like to differentiate what's an information na reliable, na totoo, sa information na hindi. Great example is the Cebu Dairy News na Facebook page. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that one. Pero kung bisaya ka, sama na ako. Dahil yun, hilig ka humor. Then, paminaw na ako kailan na kaling Facebook page. Well, from the name pa lang mismo ng Facebook page na ito, alam na natin sa tarikal siya. Dairy News, di ba? Pero as you can see sa reactions na nakukuha nila from their posts, well, makikita mo na marami pa rin mga tao na nafo-fall sa false information. Well, tinatawanan lang natin ito, right? Kasi, nakakatawa naman talaga. I mean, Sino ba yung hindi matatawa sa mga taong ganyan kagalibol? Pero if you dive into the problem talaga guys, you know? Like if you're going to stalk these individuals, like kung i-visit mo yung Facebook accounts nila, makikita natin na victim lang sila ng kahirapan. Like they're the ones na hindi privileged enough to access reliable sources of news and information. Kasi hanggang data lang yung afford nila. That's why hanggang Facebook and TikTok lang sila. Okay, so paano ba natin sila matutulungan? Yung mga tao hindi marunong mag-fact check. So here's my three tips na makakatulong sa inyo and sa mga kakilala nyo na hindi masyadong marunong mag-fact check. So that the next time you run across a certain link or like a certain article, then alam nyo na kung paano mag-fact check dito. First, Check the credentials muna. Is the author or the page specialized in, in the field that the article is concerned with? Because if not, then so the intellectual lang yung labas niya, right? Second, is to check for the dates. Actually, this one is important because a lot of people shares information na outdated. And that's not a good thing because maraming bagay na totoo dati ang hindi na totoo ngayon. So let's say for instance, Back then, nung elementary ako, Pluto was a planet. Dati person A was a solid DDS, pero ngayon hindi na. So, you know, everything is ever-changing. And so, dapat natin i-check ang date ng information na sinishare natin. Lastly, look for biases. Um, does the article lean toward a certain point of view ba? Maybe it seems to lean more on the right or on the left side of the story. Because the thing is, biased information may not be giving you the entire story. They only give you a portion sa story na in favor sa kanila. Okay, so maybe some one of you be thinking right now like, Gaw, lahat tayo ay biased naman in the first place, right? Okay, so that's a good point actually. Kasi that's true. 
So dapat hindi lang isang story yung babasahin natin. We need to to gather a lot of informations from different sources and it's our duty to weigh and filter this um, articles, this information and set aside natin yung hindi totoo sa totoo. Okay, so here's a bonus tip. We should be open for corrections and ideas na galing sa ibang tao, okay? I'm telling you guys, it will help you to widen your understanding sa mga bagay-bagay. Pero syempre, dapat if a fact check nyo rin yung sinasabi ng tao sa inyo before nyo yan, it take in lot, okay? <laughs> I, I guess yan lang, o diba? Short lang naman, diba? Um, sana nag-enjoy and naka-learn kayo sa toko and sana hindi kayo na bored, you know? Before I'll end, I just wanna say thank you to the UP Visayas Social Media Literacy Training 2022 team. Especially to Miss Eliza Marie for giving me the opportunity and the platform, you know? And shameless plug na lang din pala, guys. Um, I have a YouTube channel because like, I really love making videos. So, ang content ko ay about personal growth, uh, finance, investing, crypto, stock market. And meron din akong university vlogs and interviews with people from all walks of life. If you guys have time or kung bet nyo, then feel free to visit my channel. Ito yung name niya. Okay, so I guess that will be it for now. Thank you so much guys for watching. And sana subaybayan nyo pa rin ako sa future journey ng buhay ko. Bye! Good best everyone! Flying... Nope. Let Lenny lead. <laughs> Yes, guys, that's my YouTube outro. <laughs> Lol.